Right. Amazing. Okay. So yes, I just wanted to ask you a few questions that will be sort of featured in the article. It's about our script development fund and your experience with it, as I mentioned before. So I really wanted to ask you to get started. Like what initially inspired you to start writing? Oh, gee. Um, what initially started me to start writing? I always did love to write it was always something I was drawn to I was um I was in the four I was like on the newspaper in like the fourth grade it was just something I think a, a lot of it might have to do with my dad mm. because he would um both read the newspaper together mm. when I was a kid and I sort of like ventured off into journalism that's my background mm. and then um, that's sort of like how I paid my bills, but uh, screenwriting was always the passion. Right. That was not like paying the bills. So I hope I that answered your question. Yeah, yeah. And so what, can you tell me more about the script that you submitted to the development fund with and how that came about? Sure, absolutely. The script is called uh, To Be Young, Gifted, and Black, the Lorraine Hansberry story. And it's about barrier-breaking playwright, uh, Lorraine Hansberry, who made Broadway history in 1959 when she became the first Black female playwright to have a play produced on Broadway, which was A Raisin in the Sun. Mm -hmm. So it's basically about her um, exploring her sexuality in the 1960s Bohemian Greenwich Village against the backdrop of, you know, repression and homophobia. Mm -hmm. uh, she was actually in a, I mean, her story, most people, no idea right. who she is <laughs> or her story at all. So um, I just thought it was just so fascinating that, you know, she was a, um, a lesbian woman and a heterosexual marriage. Mm -hmm. But I just feel like I really um, connect with her. It's, right. you know, we're both play, we're both African American women, we're both playwrights, mm. we're both journalists, uh, we're both married to Jewish intellectual men. Um, but I'm straight. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> I guess that's the difference. I'm straight and I never had a barrier breaking Broadway play yet. Um, I just found her story just so inspiring and fascinating. One of the parts I really enjoyed about this process was doing the research because it's a historical drama. There's a lot of um, characters in it based on, you know, real life people right. like her. She had what was called like a, I guess, a sewing circle. Mm -hmm. It's a group of, you know what that is? I don't actually. Oh, okay, well, it's like a group of um, lesbian women mm -hmm. who would get together like in the 50s, 60s, or earlier, and, um, you know, would just get together and talk and talk about the issues of the day, that type of thing. Um, you know, it's it was just a very different time. It was actually against the law to be sexual. Mm -hmm. Um I mean, even in certain states, it was against the law to be married to someone outside of your race. Mm. So I um, really enjoyed the entire, um, you know, research aspect of it. Yeah. And her friendships with, she was friends with some of my heroes. She was really close friends with James Baldwin. Oh, amazing. Uh, with the celebrated writer, James Baldwin. She was very close friends with uh, Nina Simone. Oh, really? Um, oh my God. Singer. So it was really fun, you know, writing those two characters. Right. Hanging out together. And I just discovered things about their relationship, for example, is that, you know, Nina Simone's husband was basically her manager and ran her career. And it's kind of the same thing with Lorraine Hansberry. So, you know, it's very, like, tricky territory when you get into that. Um, so it was just um, a lot of fun, and I'm just having such a great time. 
Mm. working with Lee. Uh, working with Lee has been Lee Hamilton. Yeah. It's like dream come true. I mean, it's such a lonely endeavor. It is. Writing yeah. a screenplay. And um, it's even harder to get anybody to read it. Mm. Um, <laughs> yeah, I know the feeling. So, I'm also a right. I know the feeling. Yeah. 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 Okay. Oh, you're a screenwriter as well. Yes. I, 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 it's a little, I have a uh, screenwriting partner and we write everything together, but I can definitely feel the frustration of, uh, yeah, getting somebody to even read it or see, uh, like potential in it and care about it the same way that you, you care about it, you know? So. Absolutely. Absolutely. And her notes have just been like completely just spot on mm. and she's just really um, helping me elevate my script mm. and from also what I understand there's already uh, a producer mm. uh, that's interested and that one of the <laughs> short script partners so I'm like oh my god this is awesome someone's already inquiring about it yeah that's amazing I was gonna yeah I was gonna ask you how it has been working with with Lee on on the script development but yeah, I'm I'm so happy that it's going so well. And I'm sure Justine and everyone at the head of like short scripts will be very, very glad to know that it's a fruitful experience for you. Oh, it's wonderful. It's it's just like an, I mean, it's you know, my life is all about, you know, rejection, basically. Yeah. Um, I'm just like the rejection queen, basically. So I mean, it's really nice to, you know, to get like a little pat on the back, like, you know, we see something in you and Gonna help. It means a lot. Yeah, it really. The, it's those little, like nuggets of like hope in between a lot of like the deep trenches of like just exactly. Like, well, I mean, I'll take yeah. it. I'll take it. Any yeah, I'll take anything. <laughs> Even if someone is like, "That was oh, that was funny," or "That was a really good line." I'm just like, "Oh wow, thank you," because I usually right. yeah exactly <laughs> right. <laughs> but um, so what initially made you want to enter the development fund? Um, what drew you to um, it? Um, because I just felt like I needed some honest, constructive feedback mm. that would help me take this to the next level. Mm. And I mean, that's pretty much what I got. I mean, you know, I can't really afford to spend, you know, five, six hundred dollars here and there for coverage reports. Yeah. It can get expensive and sometimes it doesn't even, you don't get to work with the person one-on-one -on -one to even kind of work. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. So um, I, I just, I thought, you know, why not? It was like the first 10 pages. Yeah. I thought, okay, we'll, we'll see. I don't know. It happens. Mm -hmm. so, I mean, actually I completely forgot that I entered the contest. Um, just you know figured oh I didn't hear anything I'm sure I wasn't picked mm -hmm. I'm sure it's like you know there's a form rejection letter in my yeah. spam box somewhere no so yeah really cheered me up to say yeah. the least. Yeah. <laughs> amazing um yeah. so and how long have you been working on this on this particular script oh geez well it's it's been a while because it's <laughs> like I get in this, um, it's like a research rabbit hole. Yeah. <laughs> and I mean, I really, I just enjoy the research part of it. So maybe two years, mm. year and a half. Yeah. I mean, but most of it has been like research. Yeah. You know, it's like I have this thing called um, like the New York Times newspaper, <laughs> the New York Times magazine. Mm -hmm. No, 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 not the magazine. New York Times Time Machine, right? Oh, so, yeah. So you can go online and you can look back at like old photos and, and stuff like that. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So example, I punch in Lorraine Hansberry and all these articles, but you now it's like from the 50s. Now I found like the original review of her play, mm -hmm. um, you know, just um, playwright hospitalized. Yeah. So, I mean, it's just been, it, that's, that's a lot of fun for me. Yeah. Uh, I guess I love history and I, you know, I'm a journalist as well. Mm -hmm. So it's a nice way to combine both of these mediums yeah. that I love. 
Yeah, I was going to ask, do you feel like you're like the Yeah, the journalism kind of funnels into the screenwriting. And yeah, I was just going to ask about how that how that works or if you find that connection to be strong. Yeah, well, in this project, absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And uh, Lorraine Hansberry was also a journalist mm -hmm. as well. So um, um, I'm hoping that more people would look hear about her and I mean it's just such a fascinating period and just like even I mean I've turned I've somehow turned into like a um um a, you know a lesbian expert yeah in like an encyclopedia of it yeah <laughs> <laughs> you know it's like where they would hang and just how yeah. like you know they were like a lot of the lesbian bars they were in business with the mafia who would yeah. attack them um, you know, from or, or alert them to getting raids. I mean, it's just so fascinating to me and how even women, even if you were just um, three or four gay women, mm -hmm. lesbians walking down the street could be arrested, um, yeah. like not having a parade permit. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it was just... Uh, I mean, the LGBTQIA plus life is just horrific back yeah. then. It, it's scary that it's coming It is scary. Out. And, um, you know, I'm finding, you know, it's a lot of fun, for example, to write about, like, um, how a lot, well, not, I don't know if it's fun, but it's fascinating how a lot of things haven't really changed very much. Mm -hmm. Like, for example... Um, her and James Baldwin they're talking uh, Lorraine just got back from France mm. and Jimmy Baldwin is a big fan of Paris and France and he's just like one of my favorite things in life is walking on a beach in Paris oh no not Paris but in France mm. and Lorraine goes well there's beaches here and then he talks about how at that time in Florida we're having wade-ins where blacks are protesting mm -hmm. by swimming in segregated parts of the ocean. So they mm -hmm. were segregating parts of the ocean, which is insane when you think about it. it now is. they have a problem, uh, you know, with banning books. Mm -hmm. Banning books was a big problem in Florida in the oh, 60s. Yeah. Also, their, their LGBTQ laws were just horrific. I mean, it's, it's the same way today. It is. It's a history. I mean, I always repeating. say. I, history I, repeating. Yeah, it, it repeats itself. And it's so strange because um, there are a lot of things. I mean, I totally agree. There are a lot of things that are better now and the mentality is better. But it's also like when you look deeper into it, it's like, is it is it really? Is it? I don't know. It's it's crazy because then some things were going backwards, it feels like. Oh, oh, hell yeah. A lot absolutely. of things. <laughs> but, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So, I mean, it's kind of nice, too. I mean, I'd like to, that's one thing I'd like to just sort of shine a light on and, like, um, how a lot of things in the 60s, it's mm. still happening today. Yeah. You no? Know? I mean, it's, um, you know, abortion is one mm -hmm. right off the top of my head. Same. How it was illegal. Florida to get abortions and it's all coming back yeah, it's coming back and it's scary and uh yeah I think it really is stories like this interest me so much because there are a lot of women especially minority women that get shoved into like a corner in history and you don't know about them so and I hadn't heard of Lorraine Hansberry before to be honest. And now I'm going to go look her up because it's very <laughs> fascinating to me, Here's especially during the time period of and the I'm like a little. Wow. That's amazing. I love, you could create <laughs> such a good like lookbook for this, all your She's research. She's, yeah, look her up. Yeah, I will. So um, I'm just, um, I'm sorry, go ahead. Oh no no no! I was just saying I I will I will but go ahead what you were what were you saying? I think that's it. that's it. Okay. Well, I think my last question is I think, and this could be about anything. Do you have any tips or advice for emerging writers or perhaps 
what you learned when trying to research or write a historical drama, something more specific like that, or it could be more general? Well, uh, I feel like I'm definitely in no position to give advice, <laughs> but I really recommend reading as many screenplays as you can, mm -hmm. um, especially if it's a screenplay that you love and you know very well from mm -hmm. seeing it, to read it. And it really helps when you write it. It's really, I think yeah. it's really helpful to read other screenplays. Yeah, I totally agree. It provides a whole new like experience of like, how was that on the page versus how it played out on screen? And exactly. It's like, very exactly. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I think that's more helpful than almost any screenwriting class you can take. I know. Yeah. Just that's, a, that's an education in itself. Yeah, exactly. I totally agree. Um, I mean, especially if you know the movie. Yeah. You know what it's like. So. Yeah. It's amazing. Well, I wish you the best of luck. And I will reach out again to make sure once I write the article and draft it, we always like to um, like float it by uh, the person for final approval. See if there's any edits or anything you'd want to add or change. Okay. Uh, but yeah, I think this is this is great. Um, and thank you for letting me record this and for speaking with me. Oh, no problem. I mean, my background is journalism. I mean, I, I was so paranoid. I did a lot of red carpets. Mm. And I was so paranoid on the red carpet that I had like, you know, two recorders. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know. You know, it's like I had like a, a backup recorder. You know, it's like, I mean, what are you going to do? I mean, you don't want to misquote anybody. I mean, exactly. me, I'm like, don't worry about misquoting me. <laughs> but I mean, you don't want to misquote Will Smith, you know? Yeah. Or yeah. whomever. Whomever, yeah. It's like, yeah, I just, and uh, we were trying to push video on socials so the articles can get more traction. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's pretty How much. do you like, you work for short scripts? Yeah, I do uh, part-time. So I'm actually... Similar thing for a day job, I do marketing, copywriting, and content writing. And then, okay. yeah, and then I also do screenwriting on the side with my screenwriting partner. I so. get it. I get it. <laughs> I know. I yeah. know. I'm familiar with the hustle. Yeah, it's the, it's the I'm hustle. Familiar it's with the exhausting. hustle, girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> well, thank you again. Thank you again, Chris. All right, Laura. All right. Thanks a lot. Have a good night, okay? You too. Bye. Bye.